this horrendous Attorney General uh, put forth, and he found absolutely no fraud, accounting fraud of any kind. Uh, this is a highly respected man. I don't know him, but he's a uh, expert witness, and he found no fraud whatsoever. He found no accounting fraud whatsoever. And like everyone else, he said, what are we doing here? What are we doing here? This is a political witch hunt. This is meant to influence an election. This also comes from the White House. This is not just a state matter, because the White House is uh, controlling district attorneys. In fact, in the district attorney's office, they put one of their top people, DOJ put one of their top people right under the attorney general, put him into the district attorney's office, also put a man into the state attorney general's office, Letitia James' office. Uh, happened to be the same man. This is coming right from the White House. This is a disgraceful situation. The country's never seen anything like it. But this expert witness, highly respected by everybody, with a resume that few people have ever seen before, said there was no fraud, there was no accounting fraud, there was nothing. And this is what we're doing here while people are being murdered right outside on the sidewalks and the streets of New York, while people are experiencing horrible, violent crime at levels that nobody's ever seen in the city before. This is what the Attorney General is spending all the time on. So just to put it, uh, finally, he's going to continue to testify, but I don't imagine he's going to be changing his uh, basic statement. His finding is that there was no accounting fraud whatsoever. The statements that we put in were very conservative. They were the opposite of what they said. The accounting fraud and the fraud was on behalf of the judge and the attorney general who took assets and made them numbers that were fraudulent. As an example, Mar-a-Lago. As an example, Doral in Miami. As an example, 40 Wall Street and others, where they cut the values to a level that nobody's even imagined. You take a look at Doral and look at the numbers that we're talking about for Doral. But the most obvious of all, because of the fact that people know it, is when you value a place like Mar-a-Lago at $18 million, when it's worth anywhere from 50 to 100 times that amount. We had an expert witness in the other day. He's the biggest broker in the country for luxury properties. I guess he's the ultimate expert, actually. And he valued Mar-a-Lago at over a billion dollars. And the judge valued it at 18 million. The judge doesn't know the value of Mar-a-Lago. And the attorney general is the one that convinced the judge to say that. Uh, it's a fraud. The whole case is a fraud. What they've done is they've weaponized justice. And this is coming from the White House. Because uh, I'm beating Biden by a lot. And this is coming right out of the White House. You know it, I know it, and they know it. So just to end this, uh, the expert witness, one of the most highly respected people in the country for doing this kind of work, found absolutely no accounting fraud. This case should be ended. Also, the judge, as you know, was rebuked in that he was overturned by the appellate division of the New York State Supreme Court which is a higher court, much higher court than where we are right now, the judge refused to acknowledge it. This case would be over, because that was about 90% of the case having to do with statute of limitations. This case should be over. This case should have never been brought. This was a political witch hunt by an attorney general who's out of control and tried to get elected governor and failed. But this is a political witch hunt and our country should be ashamed of what's going on. But we will probably go forward, and I'm sure nothing will have any bearing on what this judge does. It's a very sad day for our country, because people are coming in, we could say this every day, and we are totally innocent. This is weaponization of justice. This is something that nobody's ever seen to this extent. It's called election interference. It's a sad day for our country that a thing like this can take place. I'm sitting in a courthouse instead of being in Iowa, where I should be, even though I'm leading by about 40 points. Thank you very much.